Getting Britain out of Europe was her defining mission. In the end, Theresa May succeeded merely in getting herself out of number 10. Never a natural performer, she didn't initially seem a natural leader either. Are you only voting Conservative in the election? No. No. No, I'll be voting. No, I won't. You won't be? No, no. Theresa Mary May has been duly elected to serve as a member for the said constituency. Elected to Parliament in 1997, she wasn't much more forthcoming in private than she was in public. I'd like to wear a variety of colours, so uh, I won't be wearing Tory blue all the time. In later years, her ministers would complain she didn't tell them much. She rose quickly, entering the shadow cabinet within two years, and within five she was party chairman. She built a power base and a steely reputation. You know what some people call us? The nasty party. She became the longest serving Home Secretary for 60 years, taking on the Police Federation over cuts. Infighting among Brexiters paved the way for her elevation to Prime Minister. At first, she was breezily optimistic about delivering on the referendum. Brexit means Brexit. But she also promised her government would have much more to offer. We will make Britain a country that works not for a privileged few, but for every one of us. Some questioned her cozying up to the new US president and her judgment at home was under scrutiny time and time again. Under pressure from Brexiters, she triggered Article 50, giving up control of the Brexit process. Then, despite insisting she wouldn't, she called a snap election. Division in Westminster will risk our ability to make a success of Brexit and it will cause damaging uncertainty and instability to the country. So we need a general election and we need one now. The campaign was a disaster. Her social care policy imploded, even as she insisted it hadn't. Nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. And her inability to sound human was ruthlessly exposed. What's the naughtiest thing you ever did? Oh, goodness me. Um, uh, well, I suppose the... Uh, gosh, I, do you know, I'm not quite sure. Well, there must well, have been a moment. Nobody is, nobody's ever perfectly <laughs> behaved, are they? I mean, you know, I have to confess, when me and my friends sort of used to run through the fields of wheat, um, the farmers weren't too pleased about that. She returned to Downing Street without a majority, dependent on the DUP. Shortly afterwards, her reputation for leadership sank further when 72 people died in the Grenfell Tower disaster. Her failure to meet those affected, universally criticised. In the autumn, tragedy turned to farce with her set-piece conference speech. Why, <coughs> why we will never, <coughs> excuse me, a comedian delivered a fake P45 and the backdrop fell apart. Despite her husband's warm embrace, her reputation for competence was undermined. Some admired her staying power, but her cabinet was deserting her. Her foreign secretary quit and first one Brexit secretary and then another went. A deputy PM and a defence secretary resigned for their conduct. The home secretary went too over the Windrush affair. Mrs May learnt to show her lighter side, dancing with school children on a trip to Africa. When her moves were mocked, she showed at her next conference that she could laugh at herself too. Mrs May dealt with the demands of the job while also coping with type 1 diabetes. She wore a monitoring patch on her arm. In fact, no one ever knocked Theresa May's resilience. This was a Prime Minister who stuck doggedly to the task. There's been an awful lot of speculation which has ab about my future, which has no basis in it whatsoever. I'm in this for the long term. But every attempt to get her Brexit deal through hit a brick wall. The nose to the left, 432. <laughs> the DUP and the Eurosceptic wing of her own party repeatedly refusing to support her withdrawal agreement with the European Union. And the issue of the UK's relationship with our nearest neighbours had again ended the career of another Tory Prime Minister. Angus Walker, ITV News, Westminster.